Cats aren't born knowing right from wrong, so at some point you might feel the need to discipline your cat. But do you know how to properly discipline a cat? Doing it incorrectly won't just be ineffective. It could also worsen your relationship with your cat. It's important to know how to discipline a cat while avoiding their inappropriate behavior. And to achieve this, you need to have one thing clear. Never, ever hit a cat. Resorting to violence to discipline your feline friend is unnecessary. Throughout this video, we'll explore the best ways to discipline your cat so that you have all the necessary tools to ensure your cat behaves well. Rewarding good behavior. Before considering punishment, you should reward good behavior. This is essential. Behaviors like starting to use the litter box, scratching the scratching post instead of furniture, or playing with their own toys should be rewarded. You can use petting, treats, or praise as positive reinforcement. Remember, a timely reward is more effective than reprimanding them when they misbehave. Also, make sure your cat's needs are being met. For example, scratching is instinctual for them, so they'll need a scratching post. If they don't have access to one, they'll seek out any object to fulfill this need. When to reprimand your cat. When it comes to reprimanding a cat, the when is almost more important than the how. Cats live in the moment and won't understand that they're being reprimanded for something they did earlier. Therefore, you should reprimand them at the exact moment they're doing something wrong. It doesn't matter if it was something they did last night, two hours ago, or five minutes ago. Cats will already be onto something else. That's why it's important to differentiate between active and passive punishments. Active punishments should be applied when they're misbehaving, while passive punishments can help when you're not around. Active punishments. Active punishments are those applied when you catch your cat in the act of doing something wrong. These are punishments you can apply if you catch your pet red-handed, or rather, with their paws in the dough. Using no. When you find your cat doing something they shouldn't, say no loudly. This form of reprimand isn't about shouting or making them feel afraid. Instead, you should be firm and convey that you don't agree with their behavior. Be patient and repetitive for this to work best. You can also stop giving them attention. For example, if they bite you, you can sternly say no and walk away. They want to be with you, so if you leave when they bite you, they'll understand that this behavior pushes you away. If you combine this with positive reinforcement, you'll gradually help them understand what they can and can't do. Loud noises. Noise punishment is applied when the inappropriate behavior happens a few meters away from you. You can use a technique that causes discomfort, such as shaking a can with coins, using a toy that makes noise when pressed, or clapping your hands. You know better than anyone what bothers your cat. The goal is for them to feel uncomfortable when doing something wrong, not to see you as a negative figure. Therefore, reserve noise punishment for very specific moments. Don't use it as a habitual punishment. It's best to use positive reinforcement and firm no commands, but occasionally you can use loud noises to disturb them. Redirecting attention. Sometimes, instead of reprimanding, it's better to teach. For example, if you notice your cat getting agitated and often ending up scratching or biting you, take advantage of that situation to play with them. Use a toy so they can release their energy. The same goes for when they scratch a couch. If you catch them doing that, immediately redirect them to a scratching post. This way, they'll get used to expressing their instincts on appropriate objects, and you won't need to reprimand them. Passive punishments. Passive punishments are small traps we set in places where we don't want them to be. By using objects that bother them, we teach them not to access certain places. Knowing how to discipline a cat without being present will greatly help in their training. Double-sided tape and aluminum foil. Keep in mind that your cat will climb on tables, shelves, and appliances. It's best to leave them free and store delicate objects where they can't reach them. But if you need to protect a specific area, you can use double-sided tape or aluminum foil. These are two materials they dislike. The tape will stick to them when they lean on it, while the aluminum foil will bother them with the sound it makes when they climb on an area and encounter one of these objects. They'll associate this with an unpleasant place and lose the desire to go back there. Unpleasant substances. You can cover objects or areas you don't want them to damage with a substance they find unpleasant. Use a product with a smell or taste you know they don't like. 
experiment with anti-chew sprays for cats so they gradually lose that habit. If they try to destroy something dangerous for them, you'll have to remove it from their reach. They might try to chew on electrical cords, for instance. In that case, it's better to remove those cords. But if it's not possible, use anti-chew spray to ensure their safety. Are you enjoying the video? If so, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be notified. Understanding why they misbehave. When a cat bites, urinates outside the litter box, or scratches where it shouldn't, there's a reason for it. If you find out what that reason is, you can address it and completely eliminate the inappropriate behavior. Often, we focus on disciplining the cat correctly when in fact, it's better to look for the reason behind their behavior. Lack of exercise. Exercise is essential for cats. Even though they spend most of the day sleeping, they need their daily dose of exercise. Otherwise, they'll expend that extra energy on things you don't want them to do, like scratching curtains, biting your hands, or destroying plants. It's better to dedicate time every day to play with them. Use a feather or another toy they like so they can try to hunt. Cat scratchers are also very useful. When they climb on them, they use various muscles and burn energy. Need for scratchers. If your cat is scratching your furniture, you need more scratchers. But there's an important detail. You should place a scratching post near each piece of furniture they scratch. Get all the scratchers you need and place them near the furniture they usually scratch. It's important to reward them whenever you see them using a scratching post to promote positive reinforcement. Issues with the litter box. A dirty litter box or one placed in a busy area might not be to the cat's liking. Keep the litter box always clean and place it in a quiet area. It's not enough just to change the litter. You also need to clean the tray periodically. A solution for cats that don't want to use the litter box is to place two or three of them around the house. This way, you can figure out which location works best. Health problems. When cats have pain or health problems, they can react differently. Some may become more aggressive, while others will do anything to get your attention. It's important to take your cat to the vet regularly for a checkup. This way, you can check on their health and prevent any issues. If your cat is uncomfortable, your vet will find it and be able to treat it. What not to do. Throughout the video, we've seen the actions you should take if you want to discipline a cat and prevent them from misbehaving. Now let's quickly review the actions you should avoid. Using violence. Never combat bad behavior with violence, as it will create a more distrustful and aggressive cat. Always try to reward good behavior and redirect inappropriate behavior. Rushing. You can't change their instincts all at once. When a cat misbehaves, it's instinctual, so it will take time for them to stop acting that way. Have a lot of patience. Using your hands during playtime. If you play with them using your own hands, you'll teach them that your hands are toys. The problem is that they'll go after them when they want to play. Stop doing this to avoid them biting you in the future. I'm sorry to say that eliminating a cat's bad behavior is a slow process, but with patience and consistency, you'll be able to do it without harming your relationship. Your cat will gradually behave better and continue to trust you. Remember that punishment should be associative and never through force or at the wrong time. Always try to redirect bad behavior, reward good behavior, and use punishments at the exact moment they're misbehaving. Now, changing the subject, did you know that there are human foods that are very good for cats? In this video that's here on the screen, I talk about human foods that you probably have at home that can complement your cat's diet and are 100% safe for our furry friends. Click on the screen and continue with me in the amazing world of cats.